Hey, everybody. Good morning. Um, happy Saturday. So uh, I'm coming to you live because I have something on my heart that I would really like to share with you. And it's probably going to take a little longer than a live video. So just bear with me. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night because I have several friends who are really struggling right now. And, you know, life is hard. Life is really hard. And, and I, I kept coming back to the scripture um, in Isaiah, and I'd like to read it for you. And then I'd like to just um, share some of the research that I did this morning, early on a Saturday at 6am. So um, if you'll bear with me, it's, uh, let's see, Isaiah 40, verse starting in, um, what is that verse? I covered it up. 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Yahweh is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never grows faint or weary. There's no limit to his understanding. He gives us strength to the weary and strengthens the powerless. Youths may faint and grow weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles like wing, on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. There's a couple of things that stood out there in that scripture for me. And the first was trust, but those who trust in the Lord. And what that means is hope. It also means meditating on who God is and what his character is, his promises that are in the scripture, praying and seeking so that we will glorify him with everything that we do. So those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Renew. What does that mean? Renew means to exchange. It's like yesterday I was um, mowing the grass. And I was sweaty. And the first thing I could think of was I have to take a shower. I have to get these old clothes off and I have to put on some lotion and get on some new clothes. Well, literally, I could not hop in the shower enough because, you know, I don't like to get dirty. I'm kind of a diva. So I jump in there and it felt so good to just take off those old nasty clothes. And then when I got done with my shower to put on the new clothes and I smelled so good. And that's exactly what God wants to do for us. He wants to take off all of the old. He wants to take away the sin, away, away the, the, the guilt and the shame. And he wants to put that off and he wants to clothe you with his clothes of redemption and strength and power. So, um, that was, that was huge to me. Um, put on the new exchange, our weakness for his power. And then they will soar on wings like eagles. What does that mean? I mean, um, so whenever I looked at soar, what that means is that God, um, he uses us and he enables us to soar when there's crisis in our life, to run when there's challenges that are just too many that you can't even think about and you're overwhelmed and walk faithfully in the day-to-day -day demands of life. So for all of the people who are watching this right now, there's one of two things. You're either in the valley and fighting for your life, fighting all of the battles and the challenges or you're coming out of the valley, going up to the mountaintop where everything seems to be okay. One of two things, you don't stay in the valley, you don't stay on the mountaintop. So you have to know where we get our power from. And it's from Jesus Christ. It's from the Holy Spirit. We get our power to be able to soar like eagles from him. I did a little research on what is an eagle. I mean, whenever Aubrey and I were able to take a, um, a trip to Alaska, we saw some bald eagles and they were absolutely 
gorgeous. I got to where even when we were on the ship, I could spot the bald eagles in with their white heads and they were gorgeous. Um, so just a little bit about an eagle. When you're reading scripture and you see something like that, you have to wonder what are they trying to tell us? Why did he pick an eagle and not a buzzard or a canary? What is it about an eagle? So eagles are large and powerfully built. Their longer, more evenly broad wings allow for more direct, faster flight. They're extremely powerful. Their visual acuity is three to 3.6 times more precise and clear than a human's. The female is larger than males. I'm just saying females take a lion's share of burden on our shoulders. It's not scriptural, but that means we're stronger because we're bigger, right? <laughs> just kidding. Um, but females and males, we do process things differently. And so um, know that females, even in the animal world, are built stronger. That may not be the case in humans but we do process things differently. Eagles are ranked top of the food chain in the bird world. So like a lion is the top of the food chain in the animals, an eagle is the top of the food chain in the aviary world. The bald eagle is known for having flown with the heaviest load by any flying bird. It was once documented that the eagle flew with a mule fawn deer in its, in its talons. Now that is seven to eight times heavier than an eagle. And this to me, it speaks to how heavy life can get. And even with the heaviness, through God and his power, he will allow us to soar no matter what weight is on our shoulders because it's through his power, we can continue to soar. Seven to eight times heavier. Think about how much we weigh and then multiply that times seven. Do you think you'd be able to, to, to pick, to dry lift that, that load? I don't think I'd even try the same amount, <laughs> but through God's power, we can soar even through no matter what burden we have in our life right now. Most birds of prey look back over their shoulders before striking their prey, but not the bald eagle. You know why? Because the bald eagle is powerful. They are built for this. They have the backing of the power and the knowledge that they're the top of the food chain. And that to me also says that when we have God on our side and we know who God is, who can be against us? What, what can come up against us that we're not going to be loved and supported by the almighty creator? Um, I want to read in Psalms 103 um, who God is. Um, just real quick and what he does. So it says in Psalms 103, my soul praise Yahweh and all that is within me praise his holy name. My soul praise the Lord and do not forget his benefits. What are his benefits? There's six different things at list. He forgives all our sin. He heals all of our diseases. He redeems our life from the pit. How many of you are in the pit right now and need rescuing? He crowns us with faithful love and compassion. He satisfies us with goodness and our youth is renewed like the eagle. One other thing about the eagle is it tends to molt and then it comes back better than ever. During this season of you molting, I want you to know that there is a time where you're going to emerge from that old skin and you're going to fly like an eagle. If your power 
is coming from the Lord Jesus Christ. If you call on him to forgive, heal, redeem, love, satisfy, and renew. So thank you for being patient with me while I showed you what God showed me this morning. I hope it helps somebody out there because again, life's hard. I love you guys.